Brandon Rios scores a third round TKO over a human punch bag named Mike Alvarado. I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's what it was. Alvarado was completely shot and it was obvious to me that he was going to be completely shot. I wasn't even going to watch this fight. I didn't even do a pre-fight video for this one because to me it was depressing, this fight. And <laughs> so someone asked me on Facebook, are you going to do a pre-fight video? I was like, no, this fight is depressing because Alvarado is shot to pieces. And I don't really think that much of Bam Bam Rios, to be honest. These are two guys on the way down. And especially Alvarado because of the terrible beatings he's taken. I mean, did you see the Marquez fight? See the beating he took in that fight? It was horrible. Even though he did manage to drop Marquez, but still he took a hell of a hell of a beating in the Marquez fight. And obviously in the two previous Rios fights, in the Provodnikov fight. So he's got a hell of a lot of miles on his clock. And that showed in this fight. And obviously, he's coming into this fight after being arrested and spending, what, 17 days in jail and all kind of stuff like that. God knows what his preparation was like. I mean, no doubt, he probably didn't have the best preparation. But either way, the guy's shot. He doesn't have the same energy or zeal or bounce in his step that he used to have. Like, if you go back and look at the first Rios fight, even though he lost that fight, and he was stopped in that fight. Just look at the energy that the guy had. Look at the zip in his punches. And ever since then, if you track his fights, he's been getting slower. He's been getting less energetic. Doesn't seem as strong. That's what's been happening to Mike Alvarado. So this result shouldn't surprise anybody. <laughs> this is always going to happen. And... Rios just was fighting a human punch bag, throwing punches at Alvarado. Alvarado was throwing very little back. And it was very apparent early on that this fight wasn't going to go very long. After the fight, Alvarado was booed by his own crowd. I mean, this fight took place in Colorado. He was booed. And obviously the fans were disappointed that he didn't put up a better effort. <laughs> I really don't know what they expected. Brandon Rios, you know, he, he did his thing, but he was fighting a human punch bag. He could do what he wanted in there. He had nothing coming back at him. So he could just try out different moves and different punches. It did, you know, he did what he liked. Is there big fights out there for Brandon Rios? Maybe, maybe he can get back in the mix and get a fight or two at a high level. I don't know. He signed the top rank at the end of the day and they don't have that many fighters. So unless it's going to be a golden boy fighter like Matisse, then I don't know. Maybe it'll, it'll be Rios versus Provodnikov because Rios versus Provodnikov or Provodnikov versus Matisse are two fights that people have been talking about. It'll be slugfests. Me personally, I, I would rather see Matisse versus Provodnikov because I'm really not a fan of Brandon Rios. Definitely not a fighter who I think that highly of. No, nothing against the guy, but I've never been impressed by what Rios does. He is relentless, I'll say that. He's relentless. He's like a poor, poor man's version of Antonio Margarito. He's not as good as Margarito, but he has a similar kind of style where he wears you down with relentless pressure and never seems to stop. But yeah, not, not as good as Margarito, man. Anyway, drop your comments below. <laughs> it's your boy Hatman, I'm out.